And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Green Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, now, before I get into this article, all right, I wanted to go into this uh, Revelation 13 and just dealing, you know, specifically, all right, with the word by, all right, in, uh, in, the, ver in the 17th verse, you know, we usually look up uh, Mark, we usually look up, you know, causeth, all right, but when you look up the word by, all right, let me actually go into it. First, let me read it, all right, because we, you know, of course, we know it, it is that microchip, but it's not going to be. When you look up the word buy, it goes into more than just buying and selling. Okay? So this this and 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 I I was reading this article, okay, which, you know, I as I was reading it, you know, I thought about the chip. Okay. And then the spirit just hit me to look into the word, all right, and see, because it this this buying and selling isn't the only thing you do in society. But without this chip, you won't be able to function at all in society. Okay, now let's read it. This is the book of Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is going to be your ticket to being able to, to function in society. All right. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And we usually traditionally think of uh, we usually think of the traditional meaning of buying, which is just, you know, you're going and making a transaction. All right. Now, when you look into it, okay, the Greek word there is agorazo, okay, which is where, um, which comes from the word agora, all right, going into the marketplace. Okay. Now, look at the definition. It says to be in the marketplace, to attend it, to do business there, buy or sell of idle people to haunt the marketplace, lounge there, okay? So when you go into that word mark, uh, that word buy, okay, when you, when you, uh, uh, if you don't have this mark, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, meaning you're not going to be able to be in the marketplace. You're not going to be able to attend it. Now, at the marketplace is where you buy or you sell or you do whatever else you do there, okay? Now, the marketplace, okay, which uh, um, the way they're setting up their B system, the whole world is going to be that Agora, all right, because everything is being digitalized, you know, right now, you know, we, the internet, all right, the internet is, is that, is that modern day form of the Agora, because that's where you go to perform all these different tasks, all right, in the ancient world, matter of fact, let's look up the word Agora, okay, and it says here, Agora, which is a marketplace, it says, any assembly, especially of the people, the place of assembly uh, uh, for public debating, for elections, for trials, for buying and selling, for all kinds of business, marketplace, street. Okay, so when you look up the word mark, it means to what? To attend to, to be in the marketplace, to, 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 to do business there. Okay, so to, and, and this is what they usually do at the marketplace. So without that mark, you won't be able to partake in, in the different uh, 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 functions that the marketplace provides. Now, what is the modern day marketplace? All right. An assembly of people, especially of any people, this is all set up through what? Through a system. OK. And, and that's usually digitalized. It has some form of technological aspect to it. Now, what they want to do is, is turn everything completely digitalized. OK. To where you're going to uh, uh, have smart cities, smart people, quote unquote. Okay. Everything is going to be connected. All right. And a lot of it is done through what? Online. Okay. People assemble online. When we do these, uh, uh, um, when we do these live streams, people assemble online. People do uh, 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 virtual debates. Okay. So all these different things, and it's not limited to just what you see here. 
okay but these are just a few functions all right of the marketplace or of the agora so when you go back to the word buy when it says agorazo it says to be in the marketplace to attend to it to do business there and 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 you can buy or sell but you can also partake in all the different activities that you see listed here and then more because the, the the marketplace or the agora was where everything happened okay where you know announcements everything you know so so it was like being a part of society okay so in order to to, to really function in society you had to go to the agora you know whatever you needed you know everything was there you had to do you had to do business there all right uh to, to really function in society it says what to launch there all right so uh, uh using that knowledge and going back to revelation 13 and 16 this chip yes you're gonna you're gonna be able to buy and sell with it but that's not gonna be the only thing because for example if you can't work all right it says employers are gonna require their employees to have a chip if you can't work you don't buy a job okay but in the future if you don't have a chip you can't work at a job you see what I'm saying? So you don't buy a job, okay? But the jobs and the grocery stores and the internet and the access to sports games and traveling, this is all part of the modern-day Agora, okay? And in order to, to partake or do business in this modern-day Agora, you're going to need that chip. That is going to be your ticket to be able to do these things, okay? Now, what they're doing... All right, which like I'm going to read in this article is they're causing the world. They're preparing because when you look into the word cause. All right, poeo, it says what? To make. To make ready to prepare. OK, to construct, to form, to fashion. So you know what they're doing? They're, they're preparing, constructing and, and fashioning the world. OK, into a society where the chip can easily be assimilated into it. All right? And that's by what? Closing down everything, okay? And allowing things to open back up, but with a requirement, okay? And that requirement is going to start with, you know, getting the vaccine, but it's not a one, it's not just a one, oh, I just got it. Now you have a second part to it, which is the proof, okay? The proof, your ticket, your, your whatever verification all right that is going to allow you to partake in these different activities in the modern day agora okay you're you're and and that's what we're going into here that digital vaccine passport okay it says uh i'm gonna just read the first sentence it says here i'll read this first denmark to roll out a c19 vaccine passport for travelers in early 2021 denmark is planning to introduce digital vaccine passports soon to enable citizens with jabs against the C-19 to travel to countries where such documents may be obligatory for entry during the pandemic. Okay, now, it's not going to be just for travel, and it's not going to be only Denmark doing it. Okay, it's going to involve other things, if we've already, as we've already seen. Okay, it's going to involve being able to go watch a football game or a basketball game, being able to go to the grocery store. All right. Being able to be a part of society. And what are some of these functions of society? We read it when we looked into the word Agora. All right. So being able to travel, being able to buy things, being able to, you know, do business, start a market and, you know, work a job and, you know, be a president or have a trial or gather. These are all activities. All right. Of the Agora. And now we're seeing that you're not going to be able to partake in these activities except you have some form of verification. Okay? So what are they doing now with this whole pandemic? They're fashioning. They're making ready. They're preparing, number one, the minds of the people to get used to living a life where you either have some form of proof, some digital uh, passport, some digital proof that you can show that will allow you to partake in in the daily activities to function in society and then soon all they have to do all right is fashion that verification that passport that digital id into into something liking onto the chip now that's what they could do or they could do it another way all right 
But speaking from from the way they're they're doing it now, they're they're what they're fashioning and making ready the world. Because notice how this is a world pandemic. All right, it affected the world. They need a, a a vaccine worldwide. Everything is world, world, world. Okay, now when you go into Revelation three and ten, it says what the 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 the, the hour of temptation which shall try the whole world. Because what? The mark of the beast is going to be pushed on the whole world. So they needed something. They always work through what? Problem, reaction, solution. Okay? So they needed something that can that can be a, 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 a global, you know, they can have a, a global uh, uh, um, involvement. You know? Some, a problem that affects the whole world. A reaction that the whole world would give. And then a solution that can solve the whole world's problem. So now if, if I was an elite and I wanted to microchip the whole world and I work through problem, reaction, solution, well, first I need to cause a problem that would affect the whole world. But a problem that's so tailored to where the only solution eventually would be what I want, which is that chip. Okay? So I'd have to plan out a problem that... At the end of it all, when we solve that problem, the solution is going to be with a chip. All right. And as you can see, the way they're setting things up is leading to that point. OK, this whole pandemic, this whole vaccines and lockdowns and stuff, it's a, it's a prelude because what's going to happen? People who don't have this digital passport are not going to be able to function in society. OK, they're not going to be able to 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 use the modern day Agora. Because what? In order to let's go back and read, um, let's go back and read Agorazo, all right? Or let's go back and read what it says here, all right? For the Agora, okay? So Revelation thirteen and seventeen, when you go into the word buy, all right? In the Greek, being Agorazo, which is what to be in the marketplace, to attend to it, to do business there. An example of doing business in the marketplace is buying and selling. OK, when we think of marketplace, we think of somewhere where they just sell food in the in the ancient world. It wasn't like that. OK, and that's why it was called the Agora. It was it was a place. All right. As a matter of fact, let me look up the word market. See if they give us something good. Now, let's get the definition on that. All right. It says here. Um, a regular gathering of people for the purchase and sale of provisions, livestock, and other commodities, an area or arena in which commercial dealings are conducted. All right. It says advertise or uh, promote something. Okay. So that's the second definition will be closest to uh, uh, Agora. All right. And as we looked in here, the word for buy is basically being associated, being able to function in the Agora. Because when you, when you what? To do business there, do business where? At the Agora. Okay, that's why it's Agorazo. Okay? So now, like I read a few of these things here, for public debating, that's a part of, of, of doing business in the Agora. For elections, that's a part of doing business in, of the, in the Agora. All right? Now, what they're going to do is they're going to, you know, of course, there's modern uh, versions of these things. You know, we don't, we don't, we're not limited to only doing these things. There's much more. But these are just a few examples, Right? And so what they're doing is if you don't have this passport, you can't partake in these activities and more. OK, you see how it says for all kinds of business. OK. Going to the uh, grocery stores of business. All right. Working is a business. All right. Going to a concert is a business. Everything in this society that you do is a form of business. OK. And if you don't have some form of uh, permission via a digital ID or a digital passport, then you cannot perform any business. You cannot, quote unquote, buy, all right, or attend or do business at the marketplace, all right? Meaning in this society, you're not going to be able to function, all right? You're not going to be able, literally, you're not going to be able to buy and sell, but you're also not going to be able to function or partake in society. And partaking in society means what? Being able to travel, being able to get a job, being able to do all the things that you are required to do, all the different transactions and requirements, paying your bills, all right? 
you know, uh, or being able to go to different locations, drive to different locations, all of that is going to be restricted. Okay? So now let's read some more on this. It says the Maxine passport will be rolled out in early 2021. The Danish health ministry told local broadcaster uh, 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 DR those va uh, vaccinated would be able to obtain the document through the country's health website or the country's public health website. You know, now it's not a big deal for them to just the, the main part that they want to get is the causing part, you know, make sure this becomes a, a normal, a normality. You know, the new normal is you're required to have some form of proof to do anything. All right. You're required to have some form of, you know, uh, a verification to be able to partake in, in all the different activities and buying and selling and business and all these different things. And then it's as simple as just fashioning whatever that you just got to find a problem. If they say, well, we're going to keep your digital passport on your phone, then you come out with problems about that, a.k.a. problem reaction solution. If there's a problem with using the phone, then we have to what? We have to find a different solution, you know? And then eventually you just keep going to, you know what? It's as simple as this. Let's just give them a chip. Anybody could take it. It's free. You know, you know you're not going to lose it. You know, it's private, it's for you, da da da. Okay? But one way or another, they're going to bring this chip out. And we're going to watch, all right? And we're going to call it out, <laughs> you know, when they do. If they haven't, you know, taken down the whole platform, allowing us to speak, okay? So it says um, the idea of the Maxine passport was praised by the transport department, all right, of the Confederation of Danish Industry with its head, Michael uh, Swain, saying that the document will become a way for us to put restrictions behind us and travel by air much more. But who is the us? Okay, who is the us? You mean a way for those who've been vaccinated to put restrictions behind them? Because this isn't going to be for everybody. It doesn't. This doesn't mean that the second vaccine comes out, which is already out, then restrictions go away. No. Restrictions for those who take the vaccine go away. But for those who don't, it doesn't it doesn't not only go away, but it gets tougher and 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 more strict. All right. It leads to being thrown in detention centers. You know, it leads to 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 being shut out of society. All right. All right. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, but I'm just calling him Swain. So, Swain or Sane. Anyway, uh, also express hope that an international solution will be worked out to allow for such vaccine passports to be used everywhere around the globe. You see that? Everywhere around the globe, and he calls it all. All right. Now they're dealing. They they usually um uh, they're mainly you know speaking in terms of uh travel, right? You know the airlines and so on and so forth. But let's just use travel alone as an example. It's not restricted or limited to only old people or young people or people who are rich or people who are poor or people who are in jail or people who are free. Everybody's going to be required to take this or have this Maxine passport if you want to if you want to fly. All right, if you want to travel. But now when these other businesses look at the travel industry do you think that they're not going to adopt that same idea? Okay? They're going to look at these airlines. They're going to look at these travel. They're going to say, look, everybody else, was, everybody was shut down, but they opened back up. Everything is good for them because they're requiring vaccine passports. So as a hotel business, we're going to do the same thing. So we can open up and we can be good. And then everybody else is going to look at the, 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 the sports you know what I'm saying? The different stadiums, the different businesses, they're going to look at them and say, oh, shit, like, we're going to do the same thing. And then before you know it, every single avenue in society is going to say, you want to come here? You need that Maxine passport. And then it's going to go from one country to another and then to another and then to another because these countries are interlinked. They're interconnected through trade, through travel, through business, through partnership, through alliances. So now one country does it. And then they're saying, well, look, we, we know we trade with you, but in order for you to come into this country, you got to have this 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 uh, 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 Maxine passport. And next thing you know, boom, boom, boom. Just like the virus spread, so will this solution spread. 
all right? This Maxine password is going to spread just like that, okay? Then they're going, on the, internally, they're going to be telling you, hey, look, you for those, you know what I'm saying, if you haven't, take, if you don't have your passport, you're still under restrictions. Still got to have that mask on. You still, still can't go here. You can't do this, all right? It says, um, because what, they, what they're doing is, it's like, um, it's like uh, uh, when you try to smoke out, you know, like a rabbit or something, you know, these, these animals that are, they, they dig up into the ground, you know, there'll be like multiple holes, you know, and so you basically block off all the other holes and leave like two, and then you put fire in one hole, so the smoke gets up into their, their, their little burrow they have under there, and there's only one way out. And that's going to be through the hole you're going to be waiting for them at. Now, you're not going to put the fire in the hole when there's no other hole for them to come out through. So I use that analogy to show that what the what they're doing is they're bringing these restrictions, but they're also bringing a way out. OK, because once they put the fire, meaning they, they heighten these restrictions and these lockdowns and these draconian measures, they want you to have a quote-unquote way out, which is right into their arms. So, notice they mentioned these restrictions, but they haven't really enforced it hard and heavy yet. They were waiting for that vaccine to come out. They were waiting for that other option, which is really what they want you to do. You know? They were waiting for that other hole to be there before they throw that smoke, they throw that fire into this one hole and say, we're locking everything down, we're shutting things down, we're, we're completely going, going off the deep end with it. But there's, if you don't want to, if you don't want to get caught by that smoke, you don't want to get caught in these lockdowns in these detention centers. Well, just take the vaccine. You know, there's that other hole. Come to Papa. All right. But see, what they what they fail to calculate is the Lord has, like the scriptures say. All right. Um, temptation. Let's see. Yep. First Corinthians ten and thirteen. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right? So, yeah, they might try to make it seem like there's only one way out, which is their way, but nah. All right, when you look on a much bigger picture, and you look and you think spiritually, you understand that there's not only one way. It's not Esau's way. All right, this is the Most High's agenda. So the Most High is the one who gives us the option and the ultimatum and the way out. All right, Esau is just a piece on the, on the chessboard. So it says, um, several international bodies and companies have been working to develop digital vaccine passports or smartphone apps that would see people uploading their data to assure safe travel or entry to concert venues, stadiums, movie theaters, and other public places. You know what these are? These are all what? A part of the Agora, a part of the modern day Agora. Because in the ancient world, to perform their version of these sort of activities, that was mainly, you know, at, at the Agora, the, the, the place where all the activities and so on and so forth were. Okay? So you're going to need this this uh, passport to what? To, to buy or to do business or to partake in these activities. Okay? And if you don't have that, 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 uh, uh, um, passport as they're, they're calling it now, you are not going to be able to do these things. Okay. Swiss company, the commons project has teamed up with the world. Econ oh, here we go. You know, what you're seeing is world economic forum. You're hearing them more and more and more. All right. And what the global reset, the common pass app, but all these different, you know, these new world order terms are being made. What new normal they're being thrown out there and they're, me they're being uh, uh, made to desensitize the minds of the people, okay? So it says, has teamed up, the Commons Project has teamed up with the World uh, Economic Forum and several major airlines to create the Common Pass app. Now, here's one thing you should think of. The chairman of this World Economic Forum, uh, Klaus, Klaus Schwab, is the same one who talked about putting microchips in people to read their thoughts and in order for them to function or do anything in this new, ideal, global reset, fourth industrial revolutionary world. So if the Common Pass app is based on a, a, partners, a partnership with the World Economic Forum, and we already know 
the ideas and the ideals of the World Economic Forum, what can we expect? And it says what? Which transforms C19 test results and information on vaccination into a QR code that can be scanned at airports. Now, when you you know when you go into the chip, when you go into the third root word, which is grapho, it goes into what? Store uh, storage, data, information that is stored. Okay? And how simple is it for them to say, well, why don't we just store your medical records or or they could start with that, you know, and whatever else you want to store, but mainly we'll store your medical records on this on this chip. That way, instead of scanning your QR code, you know, you could lose your phone, your phone could get messed up and, you know, you lose all your information because uh, some of them are saying that they're not going to have you up upload your information to the cloud. It'll just stay on your phone. So now if your phone gets messed up, then your whole your whole information, all of that is gone, right? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You can't access it. So, man, that's a problem that we need a solution to. We need something that we can store medical information on. We can store information on something we can scan, you know, something that's easy, you know, a solution for us all. <laughs> it says the International Association for Airlines, IATA, is also working on a similar digital document notice how everything is now what digital 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 called the iata travel pass initiative air carriers also welcomed the introduction of vaccination passports uh united united uh lufthansa swiss international airlines and virgin atlantic all tested the common pass technology in late 2020 You see this? European travel insurers warn JAB will be required to book trips if EU adopts C-19 vaccine mandate. And they will. They will. Contrary to what they tell you, they will. Uh, Australia's Qantas Airline, uh, Airways earlier announced that proof of C-19 vaccination would become mandatory for all international passengers on its flights. Qantas CEO Alan Joy speculated that it's going to be a common uh, in other it's going to be a common in other airlines around the globe. So it's only a matter of time, man. And we in January 2021, we got a whole, we got some time. You know, that's a, that's, 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 that's a lot of time for these devils to move. And they know, all right, that they have a short time pursuant to Revelation 12 and 12. So they're not going to waste time. They're going to utilize every second they have and they're going to move, man. All right. So, hey, you know, I just wanted to go into that real quick. And we're seeing more and more talks about this, but in a matter of months, weeks, you know, the world is going to look like a, a different place. That new normal is going to start to take shape. All right. It's going to start to take shape and you're going to start to see exactly what this new normal, a.k.a. new world order really looks like. All right. So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha Kudash. Until next time, Shalom.